Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this, and an atmosphere to match the mood. Stay with us, live coverage right here on EA TV. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa facing Burnley. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Who's going to get on the end of it? Clearing it away. Digne. And a fine cross. And cleared away. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Matty Cash plays with Luca Digne in the fullback positions. John McGinn plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Luca Digne. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, his own teammates stopping him and a pretty tight offside call by the look of it. Well, he is offside when the ball hits him, but there's not much he can do there. I think the keeper had it covered anyway. And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. I must say, this looks promising. Oh, what an opportunity! And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Watkins. Nicely timed tackle. On the offensive. The delivery. Oh, a goal! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Sensational! Well, let's look at this again, and I have to say, that's such a wonderful piece of improvisation. To get that on target, wow, what a goal. So, back underway, with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Jay Rodriguez. On the ball, Cullen. Nicely cut out. A bit of running room now on the wing. And cut again from the flank. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Who can he pick out? Is it going to be? And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Long way out. Well, I'll tell you what, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Oh, 
The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. So the corner played into the box. Danger still on. Being pressed here. Cullen. And Villa with the ball again. In with a chance. It's gone in. And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, let's take another look. And you have to say the defending is so poor. That's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Cullen, and cutting it out. Jay Rodriguez. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Well, as the stats show us, Aston Villa have had most of the play, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. And fine work from Burnley to win back possession. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Distributing it well. Well, Burnley regaining possession. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Aston Villa struggling to keep the ball. Brownhill. So two minutes of stoppage time here. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Watkins. Luca Dina. And the referee's whistle, meaning that the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Villa Park. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game, Stuart, and giving the defenders headaches. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. Great movement, lots of energy, and a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Lovely work to get past his man. It's a perfect challenge. Johan Berg Goodmanson. Beautiful pass. Rodriguez. Determined defending. Diaby promising sequence but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Vitinho O'Shea Baia on the ball Cullen Aston Villa regaining possession 
Boubacar Camara. He's in behind. Nicely saved. And time for the change now. Playing it in. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. And not cleared away properly. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Well, we're into the final half hour. Now this could be productive, and hit with ferocity! And just over the bar, excellent effort it was. Well, they've decided to make a change. Tielemans. Diaby. Oh, fancy footwork. Pivotal moment defensively. Tielemans. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Bailey. Diaby. Good ball over the top. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. So making the substitution now. Josh Brownhill. And on to Vitinho. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And if you've lost your mobile phone, can you please make your way to reception after the game? Thank you. This attack looks highly promising. And there's the feed into the box. Not all that convincing defensively. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Jay Rodriguez cross-fired over and the keeper more than equal to it Now, how about the short corner? An alert piece of defending. No let up on the pressing front. Oh. 
Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. And they deal with the threat this time. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Credit to them for winning back possession. Mike Trezor and Dei Shimie. Brownhill. Foul there. Free kick awarded. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Just the clearance that was needed. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Really getting stuck in. Camara. Chance here. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. So the final whistle and plenty of positives for Villa fans around the world following this victory. What did you make of it? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.